Hello and good evening everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on that video. I truly appreciate it. How are you all doing tonight? As you can tell by the title of today's live stream, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Jimmy Spencer's 1992 Talladega crash where he floated basically halfway down the backstretch before settling back down on all fours. I've had a lot of people uh, request this one to me over the years and I finally got around to it. So here we are. Voila. We are going to get started with that in just a sec, but before we do, got to give a huge shout out to my very generous Patreon supporters, Adria Fitzy, Jay Barker, Drive Through, Kingster Cole, Goki, Pantalica, Austin Rip, Alpha Diamond, and Tangle Wolf 09. In addition to my generous Patreon supporters, I also got to thank my YouTube members as well, which are uh, Tangle Wolf 09, Kingster Cole, Alan Barkley, Dallas Hunter Shake. Jeff the Killer Fan 666 and Alva Diamond. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. I truly appreciate it. This channel keeps going because of you guys. So keep up the support and I will keep up the videos. What's up, uh, Mr. Vehicle Crash Master over on Twitch? Let's get some shout outs in before we get started. Uh, Kima J Gaming, TNT Productions, Boris the Elf, I Like Rice. What's up, Trop? Uh, Barrett McKay, Dale Nelson. Productions, NASCAR Master, uh, Monster Jam Fan, excuse me, IndyCar, excuse me, not fan. Tyler Grice, Trist Mack, Parker Winkman, Tyler Wright, Forrest the Elf. Appreciate you all tuning in. So we are going to get right into this one. Got Jimmy Spencer's number 98 uh, Chevrolet that he ran in 1992. The Moly Black Gold, whatever that was. I have no idea what that company is. I'm sure someone out there does. So, as you saw by the little clip of the GIF in the intro screen, he was not in a huge pack. It was maybe like 15 or so cars in line, so that's how many we got. I already adjusted the track any a little bit. I'm going to use 92 difficulty because why not? It's a 1992 reenactment. You can see we got the temperature already way down and we are going to go to race right away we're just going to jump the start do it on the back stretch of the first lap because we are basically up to speed by that point i have adjusted the uh, track temperature i've uh, adjusted the i and i or excuse me the the ai to where they should hopefully be running somewhat single file and last but not least, I turned the roof flaps off. And you might, th might be thinking, hey, Cody, why'd you do that? That's going to look unrealistic. If the car is floating through the back straps with no roof flaps on. And I, to that I say, it is very realistic. Because roof flaps were not developed to February, or implemented until February of 1994. What is going on with Mark Martin? That might actually work out, because we need to be single file. I don't know what Mark Martin's doing. Alright, and we also are in uh, direct selection shifting, and I'll explain why in a second. What is Mark Martin doing? I think I turned the bump drafting t uh, distance up a little too much. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we gotta change this right off the bat. All right, my fan's going crazy, my computer, but it only says 24% CPU usage. That's not too bad. All right, I'm going into the track I and I. Let's switch over. Here we go. Down to Talladega 1993, which is the one we are using. Driver told me to turn the, if I want them to run single file, turn the drafting distance up. I think I might turn it up a little too much. Start down to like five. No. Four. <laughs> Save. All right, let's get back into the game. Why is that not working? There we go. My 
I think that works. We don't have to close out the game. drive through taught me that. In order for those settings to take effect. What's up, Dale Jr. Fan 88? How are you doing, bud? Driver, Caillou HM. Matt Swan. Who else? Who else hasn't gotten a shout out? Alright, so I got the direct selection shifty on, so I'm gonna try to have someone or bump someone as we're coming onto the back stretch. So we're coming into the spot on the back stretch that we need to get airborne. And if I don't get sideways by them, I can always just downshift to either first or reverse, and it'll basically spin me out automatically. This Talladega crash from two years earlier. That's another one where there was no no uh, footage of was there, but there's a few photos. Turn the line modifier down to 0 0.9 for more single file. I will try that if this does not work. Is that like the AI line modifier? I'm assuming. So he's about two thirds of the way back in that little line they had going on in the replay. So we'll be right around here, or right next to Mikey. Still kind of majorly glitching out. It's better, but it's still a little too much. Actually, all right. So he got airborne, and he comes to rest right. Oh, I hit the wall. Otherwise, that was a great first attempt. I was going to say, he comes, that little bus stop chicane thing on the backstretch, he comes to arrest on the pavement, basically dead center in the middle of that thing. Which is close to where I landed just now. What's up, codename Phoenix? How are you doing? That was actually really close. Let's go back to the weight screen so we can get a good look at the... Uh, the GIF. We'll full screen this as much as possible. Alright, so compare that. So I need to be a little bit other, obviously further away from the wall, but I basically, as far as distance down the backstretch, I came to rest in about the perfect spot. And now back to the game. Compare that to this. Oh, I just needed to not hit the wall. Now let's try that again. Driver, start your engine. It's a great first attempt. The super lubricant. I'm assuming that was some sort of oil company from back in the day. Yeah, I've had a lot of people request this one to me over the years. This is a really uh, popular clip that you would always see back in the days of the early days of uh, NASCAR YouTube crash comps. You'd always see this clip on there. Just gotta click on the chat, make sure that ain't frozen. Hold on. There we go. It's probably going to get messed up in a moment another. Guys, if you have any reenactment suggestions, I'd love to hear them, but uh, pull up my, one of my most recent streams or uploads so you can put them down in the published comments. It's way easier for me to see them that way and come back later on and uh, see who's all posted what suggestion. Then you guys can thumbs up each other's suggestions. So yeah, I'd love to hear them, but make sure you put them in the videos that are already published, not this current live stream as it's live, if that makes sense. 
Oops. They're kind of glitching out if they get too close to the car in front of them. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to adjust that drafting distance back down a little bit more. Alright, come on, DW. Oh. Do we have the settings perfect? It's just a matter of landing in the right spot. Oh! Yeah, this time we didn't go down far enough. First attempt we went down too far into the infield. This time we didn't go down far enough. Do we have the settings down? As far as, like, aerodynamically, we need to fix the AI a little bit. But airborne-wise, those first two have both been perfect. All right, let's retire really quickly. We're going to turn the drafting distance back to a more reasonable... AI drafting distance, let's do 2.6. That sounds good, why not? All right, so we saved that. Hopefully it takes effect without having to actually close the game out. Mr. Heart Grenade, Alex the Gamer, VG03. It's your boy Doggo, cat winner. Appreciate you all tuning in, guys. Hope you're all enjoying your, say, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday evenings. Drivers, start your engines. All right. I got a feeling that one of these, that we're actually going to get it. And one of these coming up. We might not even need a full hour. We basically just need to plop down perfectly into that, uh, like the pavement section in the right in the middle of that little bus stop in the back, the end of the back stretch. That's right where we need to hit. Okay, let's make a try. I unmuted myself. For some reason I panicked and thought I never unmuted myself at the start of the stream. So yeah, we need to be just somewhere like either halfway back or like two-thirds of the way back in this line. And we're basically up to speed by the time we're on the back stretch with the way I have the track setting set up. So we don't really need to do a full lap and a half around. So to save time, we can just do it right on the first lap. I don't know who he hits in real life, but I'm going to just check later and switch out the paint scheme. Alright, so as long as we're up to like 170, 180 by the time we get into the back stretch, we should be good. Oh yeah. So this is perfect because he was like right at the start of this little back secondary line in real life, so. Oh, into the wall. Darn it. That was close. The Ricky Craven Kurt Bush finish at Darlington. I think I tried it once, but I'm gonna try it again once I can enlist the help of my buddy DT drive through. Everybody knows drive through. If you don't, go subscribe to him on YouTube or follow him on Twitch. Or subscribe to him on Twitch. Just got done doing two long streams in a row. Now he, I think it just went over to Raid Rusty for a Life is Strange stream. How many drivers drove the school cars back in the day? I know a few. At the very least, I know Ken Schrader and... Ricky Craven and Harry Gant. No, did Ricky Craven? Or is that the... Did he drive the Skull or was that Grizzly? I'm not sure. I can't remember. 
And all those chewing tobacco companies were the same. AJ Goose, thanks for the host over on Twitch. I appreciate it. Yeah, we got the settings really close already. Like 15 minutes in. We just gotta land in the right spot. I mean, basically every single one of these attempts, the amount of floating in the air has been perfect. We just have to not hit the wall. We have to come down just in the right spot. We otherwise got the settings down just rare this quickly from one of these can I recreates. Just be right around the middle of this line. Here looks good. All right, so right coming onto the right here. Sit down. Oh, darn it! I need to try shifting in the first instead of reverse. Maybe reverse is what's sending me into the wall. That one was close, too. Alright, I landed just a hair too late, so I need to see if there's any markers on the wall that I can go by. I can just go a hair earlier. Nope, not really. Alright, just before these RVs get out of frame, so like right here, I can start trying to spin myself And then try shifting into reverse instead of, or first instead of reverse. I, I think, I think we're close, guys. This might be a record. At least for a long time. In a long time. If we can get one really soon. That'll be the soonest we've got one in a long time. Ah, uh, Sace. 27, hopefully I pronounced that right. SW Gaming. Hype 33, Kyle Bush 05, Boris the Elf, Zeno Vulture. Appreciate you all clicking on the video. Hopefully you're enjoying your Wednesday night. I'd like to be able to edit another one of these reenactments soon. Just need to get a good one. Actually, we'll be, be start next to the 18, Dale Jarrett. Right here. Alright, so we'll try shifting into re first instead of reverse to try to spin ourselves out from the contact. Oh. So Dale Jarrett just took a swipe at me. This is perfect. I hit the wall. Oh, I hit the wall. All right, that was close. You exploded a tire. And we blew out the right for the left front. All right, that was possibly the closest we've gotten yet. I need it to be a little bit closer to the side by side to the car I'm kind of body slamming. I was a little bit too far to the back of him. Let's go to the TV one. That time we landed just a hair early. We need to land like right around here if possible. Darn it, the pavement sent us into the wall we're gonna get it guys Drivers, have faith have faith ladies and gentlemen if we go on board for one of these Spencer's point of view 
Let's try it, why not? It's gonna we'll start right next to Dale Jarrett. Whoa, 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 slow down. Look at all these legends. I honestly thought that uh, Country Time Lemonade scheme was Michael Waltrip before. I'm now realizing I was incorrect. Alright, this should be interesting. I'll try an onboard attempt. So far, so good. We want the 18 to be next to us. Doesn't really matter who's next to us. I have no idea who we actually got hit by in real life, but it's just about this spot in the pack. Oh! I got hit by the 17. And hit the wall. Oh, we'll try that again. Was, that wasn't the 17, that was the 5. I'm dumb. Who was that? Ricky Rudd. He probably had a heck of, heck of a view of that. That was a pretty realistic looking crash. Gets hit, then goes up in the air a little bit, and then comes back down. Next. Drivers. All right, back to Start back to chase you. All right, I, I feel it. Only 20 minutes in, we've already had a bunch of close attempts. Whoa, 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 slow down. Stay behind the 15 car on the Don't you tell me where to go. Right, VG03 earlier said, change the AI line modifier to 0. .9 to get more single files, so we might have to try that soon. Nah, I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> oh man, they're showing us the black flag. <laughs> it's like stay down low so Ricky Rudd doesn't try to pass us. Speaking of passes, actually, actually, that's going to be a savable attempt. I know there was no contact made. That oh, if I could have just made contact with the AI and not spun myself out, that'd be way better. But that'll definitely be a save worthy attempt right there. That's the closest we've gotten. Now we just need to make a little bit of contact with the with the AI before spinning ourselves out. What's up Doggo Racer? Thanks for tuning in over on Twitch. That is that's the front runner right there so far. Alright so just a little reminder for what we're trying to go for. This is the wreck we're trying to go for. I 
was a little too far back in the field too. All right, I gotta fix those two things. But aside from that, we basically have a perfect attempt. All right, so that's what we're going for. And here's what we just got. At first glance, you can't tell too much. We landed in the perfect spot. Perfect spot. Alright, so let's go back and cut this so we can save it. Let's get one more look. Pretty darn close, if you ask me. Pretty darn close. If you ask me, what do you say, Trap? Alright, we just need to be a little closer to the front of the pack and actually make a little contact with the AI car before spinning ourselves out. Aside from that, Jimmy, Spencer, Talladega, Crash, Attempt. Dega crash attempt one. We got it. We saved it. All right, let's try again. I think so. I think I might have done it. I'll have to do another vote at the end there if we don't get a better one, but that might be a keeper. That might be an edit-worthy one right there. Only differences I would make is just move, maybe be up a couple more spots in the field, and actually just make sure I'm making a little bit of contact with one of the AI cars before I spin myself out. Aside from that, I don't see how it can get much better than that. As far as the lift, the placement of where I landed, me spinning back around. We'll spend the next at least like 30 minutes or so trying to get a closer one. But I'll do another vote. Something tells me I think you guys are going to want me to edit that one. That was pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. I just got to try to get closer. In the next like 30, 40 minutes or so. Yeah, shush with the black leg. Thick rib, Joker8806. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Alright, we're gonna get spun by the 33, it looks like. Just a little too early. Oh, and I'm gonna hit the wall, darn it. Alright, that was my bad. We needed to spin just a quarter of a second later. We actually made contact that time. Yeah, we need to land like right when we're there. Like right in the middle of this little chicane thingy. And not hit the wall. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Yeah, if I don't get any closer, that's probably going to be the one, but we will try to get closer. Since we still got at least another half an hour. I might not go too much longer than an hour for this one. I got a lot of stuff I got to do later tonight. It's still very early in the night, wise for me, chore wise. In the night for me, chore wise. There we go. I actually speak. But we'll still at least get to an hour or so. For this live stream to see if we can't get a closer attempt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. All these have been really close. Just the ones that are hitting the wall are ruining it, but I got the aerodynamics perfect for this type of crash. No roof laps and minus 64 degrees. <laughs> I think I upped the grip by like one or two tenths. Aside from that, I think that's it. Oh yeah, the draft 
the AI drafting is uh so it's like 2.6 all right we're up a little further step one complete step two is just make slight contact with the car we're trying to spin us Oh, why did they all split up back there? Now it looks like I'm at the very back of the field. That's going to be in the wall, yep. And I did that a little too early. So you know what we haven't done in a while? Do you know what we haven't done yet this video? Got my computer's going crazy. The fan is, at least. BBO time. That last time looked like a Sten... Arca Stenhouse. Frick. Oh my god, is that Mark Martin flipping a bunch of times? I think it was. The leader's pitting now. <laughs> well, that was pretty... Pretty convincing. Look at Mark Martin. Look at Mark. Dang. Beautiful wreck. Next... Who's that still flipping? Drivers. Solder. It was Johnny Solder. Alright, so do not hit the wall. We got that great attempt save, but we still want to get a little bit closer. I'm trying to get like to the, like the right in the middle of the pack. But when I think I'm in the middle, all of a sudden a bunch of the cars in the back break off. So it looks like I'm in the, like, tail end of the pack. Stay behind the 15 car on the inside line. I still need to try to proper, properly recreate Ken Schrader's crash. Wasn't that next year? 93? Or was that 91? Or 92? I know it was right around here. Right around this time period. Stay behind nobody. is the 11 doing? That was close. It's actually kind of perfect right here. Because there was the first little line of cars and then there was a second little group that Spencer is at the front of. Alright, I didn't get hit by the AI, but I didn't get high enough in that one and I hit the wall. Alright, so. Next. Drivers. Oh, 95. That's right. And he was backwards for the longest time, and then he got bumped by someone, and then that little bump is what was able to get the back end of the car up enough to get the air underneath it. Ken had, I think, four flips in his career. Yeah, four. Daytona. Coming to like the checkered flag in that one race. Uh, 95, Talladega, that uh, Sears Point one. And then uh, Pocono. Yeah, 1987 was the Daytona one. The Firecracker 400 finish, I think. Alright, 
let's go. Let's go. Was that the first blowover with roof laps? I know which one you're talking about. Wood button flipped in the trioval at Talladega. Wish I had Trace here to do the Ward Burton impression. He does the best. Alright, so right around here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get off the wall! No. <laughs> oh, I blew my engine too. That wouldn't look good with the smoke. You all right? You all right? Yeah, that one isn't good because we hit the wall. Motor buddy. Motor buddy. Drivers, start your engine. Next. Cody, you blew the engine. You still have the soundboard. For, I don't know if I ever had that soundboard. Who was that still flipping? I don't think I had that one. This is all the soundboard stuff I have. It's not too much. And we have a caution. Uh, I just wish you could pull this stuff up in NR without like actually freezing the game. But the moment you jump out of window mode for NR, it just pauses the game. Aggressive goal! Are you kidding me? I still have no idea what the hell. That's a <laughs> Daryl Waltrip at the end of the 2016 Daytona 500. I still have no idea what the hell he's saying here. Uh, I have it labeled as Burgau. <laughs> B E R R R R G H H A A A A W. <laughs> That's what I have it. Label as. Have you ever? No, I've never. Holy oh, cow! What is he doing? They're still getting upside down. People, cars driving under cars. Oh yeah, that one. Oh duh. That was from the 2002 Aaron's 312. That one. They're still getting upside down. People, cars driving under cars. <laughs> Ah, oh, Larry Mack. All right. Enough of the soundboard stuff. Back to re reenactments. Corn dog. Why the hell is he saying corn dog? <laughs> Why in the hell is he saying corn dog? Apparently he said Martin Naw. So what Kamikaze was saying too. Whoa, yeah, I, I need to get a couple sound bites from that same wreck. I need to get who is that still flipping? And I also need to get <laughs> the rut row. Got that save worthy attempt, but we're trying to get a little bit better in these next 20, 25 minutes. There is no yellow. We're under the base lap. Jeff Bodine, 2000 flip at Daytona. I've tried a few times. That one's insanely difficult. I blew the engine so I wouldn't have been able to drive away. Ooh, that was perfect. How I kind of turned into him 
And then in overcorrecting, he kind of pushed off of me that made it look like he was the one that turned left and spun me out. If I can replicate that, but actually need to land right here, not over here. Tell you what though, this for a can I recreate? This has been some of the most consistently close Start attempts we've probably engines. ever had. Streams lagging. Uh oh, is it? Doesn't say I'm dropping any frames. Uh oh. Whoa, just blew the engine. What's up, Pascal? I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Nice, nice view video for me. I don't quite know what you're trying to mean. But thank you. Left Turn Productions, DNG. Whoa, 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 whoa. Johnny Allen for plot two. I know there's some, I think it was Johnny Rutherford. Someone keeps suggesting me to reenact some flip from the 1964 Daytona 500. That one might be coming soon as well. Didn't they have one more? Didn't he have six? He had one in 1989. Huh. Did not know that. Of course Mikey had another flip. Of course he did. here. That's going to be another backwards big one. <sighs> Darn it. I forgot I blew first gear, so the moment I shifted into that, it didn't do anything really. See someone flipping. We're just gonna wait for a second so we can watch the full replay without it stopping short. Man, poor Mark. So it's been him each each one of these big ones. It's because he's the one in front. Just kind of doing those little hooked fish jumping around. Drivers, start your engines. Ryan Newman had a a few as well. He had those two flips and two, one in two thousand three, another one in uh. 2009. He had a bunch of other cars on top of him at various points. He got up on his side and Watkins Glen in 2003. Almost flipped at Talladega in 2003. Yeah, Newman's uh, another one that's had a lot of a lot of wrecks. Whoa, 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 slow down. Isn't it strange to think with all the massive wrecks that Danica had, she never flipped? She got close a few times. At Auto Club that one time, Daytona when she got up on her side. But Danica never flipped. Yeah, it's just with your black flag. We're gonna be wrecking before we I'm in to answer that anyway. I 
So right when that line of RVs on the left side gets out of our field of view, that's when I got a... Oh, I did it too. Late. Yep. Yeah, you can see I have the grip up just a little bit just to try to help control the car with the temperature being negative 64 degrees. But still seems fairly realistic, control-wise. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. You all right? I wouldn't say Danica almost flipped at we got big time Kansas. That motor, buddy. I mean, that was a big hit. I don't know if she ever was nearly there. on verge of tipping over. Here comes the leader. Oh, man. I think I sent Mark flipping again, and then it was Rusty that hit me while I was upside down, and then he went flipping, I think. The leader's pitting now. Looks like we lost that motor. Looks like he lost that motor. Yep. This is Martin once again. And there goes Rusty as well. Number eight got upside down as well. Big wreck. Drivers, start your engines. There right, we got no, about another 10, 15 minutes to try to get a closer attempt. We'll set the field up and do a full field backwards big one. Then right before that, we'll do a little preliminary edit. I'll show you guys the best attempt at the end of the stream. Get the timestamp. So I can get the timestamp later on when I publish the comments. Ask you guys to vote by clicking thumbs up on one or the other comment. And yeah, I will vote and see if I edit that best attempt or try to do a part two to see if I can get an even better one. Cowboy flipped off the NASCAR officials once. Yeah, I think that was Texas 2010. If I'm not mistaken, that was the same race that Burton hooked Gordon under yellow and then they started fighting. Interesting race. Kyle Busch with that whole penny penalty fiasco and then he flipped off the officials. And yeah. Two veterans wrecking each other under caution and fighting. That otherwise had a fairly squeaky clean reputation up to that point for the most part. I know Gordon had his fair share of amount of minor run-ins, but Nothing major like Kozlowski or Kyle Busch or anything like that. At least up to that point. I did it a little too early that time. <sighs> See, that would have been a perfect one because I didn't hit the wall. I also wasn't able to drive away. That one was just a hair too early. We needed to land right in the middle of that chicane Drivers, thing. Start your engines. <laughs> oh yeah, that uh, that fan view of the 2010 Sadler wreck. I know which one you're talking about. If you. It's really hard to see, but if you go to the TV broadcast and go to that onboard shot from Kurt Busch that's like on the rear bumper looking backwards, through the smoke, like right before you see uh, Kurt like hit the inside wall, through the dirt smoke, you can kind of see a black silhouette of Elliot's car kind of flying back across, toward, back towards the track after the impact. Sadler never flipped. Probably got up on his side just a little bit. Kind of like Danica at Daytona with that impact. But no, he never flipped. Yeah, he probably he just smoked that inside wall. 
It ripped out the front of the front of the car, including the engine. And the impact, yeah, just kind of got the car up on its side a little, just a little bit while it was going back across, back towards the track. I think it probably looks probably a little similar to, yeah, Danica's Daytona crash, except maybe a little bit more violent. full flip there thanks to Ricky Rudd. I almost did a full blowover. Yeah, Rusty's had four flips. Daytona twice, Talladega, and then Bristol. in the lead for once. The leader uh, <laughs> let's see how long I was stuck on my side for. Oh, we got more cars flipping. Who is that still flipping? <laughs> Shoot. Earnhardt just went into the fence. It stayed there. That was an interesting ride on my side. I thought right here for sure I was going to dig in and start flipping, but nope. Do another wreck avoidance stream. I agree. That was fun. Drivers, start your engines. There's that one wreck when Rusty almost flipped in 2000s at Daytona. I think that was one of the duels in like the mid 2000s. I think like maybe, maybe 2005. There's a big, long, drawn-out pileup in one of the impacts. Like, some cars smoked him. I think it might have been Harvick. Kind of pitched his back up in the air. Back end up in the air a little bit. I think that was the first backwards big one we've done where it wasn't Mark Martin taking the first impact. Sadler had some roof damage in that crash. I'm going to have to go back and look at the replays. I don't know if I ever saw roof damage. I don't know if I ever saw roof damage. Right, this will probably be the third to last attempt. Go back and look at the replays, do a preliminary vote, and do a full field backwards big one, then I gotta call it a night. I know this one isn't gonna be too terribly long, but we'll still go at least an hour. That's the second best attempt. I did get hit, but there's two things I didn't like. I went just a little too far, I landed a little too far, and I got a little too close to the inside wall. Terry Labonte flipped at the Riverside race. Need to look at that. Got just a little too close to that inside wall. Yeah, the first one's closer. First one's closer. I was about the same spot in the field. I got too close. I landed, yeah. 
As much as I want to save it, the first one's closer. Drivers, start your engines. Yeah, Larson is not a flippant Daytona. He got up on his side and spun around a bunch, but yeah, that was a yeet into the catch fence, not a not a flip. Who in this house cranked the heat up to like a billion degrees? Yeah, I might might start editing this one tonight if we get a good vote. Make sure to stick around to wait for the live stream to done process. To get done uh, processing. Jeez, I can't talk tonight. <laughs> I'm just really tired right now. So stick around for that. Cast your votes. Whether you want me to edit the best one from this video or do a part two live stream to try to get an even better attempt. Yeah, Denny hasn't flipped either. The closest he's probably got was Auto Club 2013. Casey Kane flipped. No, I don't think so. I think the closest he got was probably Pocono that one year. I think 2010. Casey did not flip at Bristol. Ah, oh, that one is so close. Just landed just a hair too early and then obviously hit the wall. All right, last attempt before we'll go to the vote and then do a backwards big Drivers, one. Drivers, start your engines. Dale Jarrett's 1999 Daytona flip. Oh yeah, that one. Took them like four times watching the replay before they even realized that someone went over. Thanks for everyone tuning in tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to click that like button. I truly appreciate it. Alright, last attempt here. Unfortunately, I can't stay too long tonight, but enough to go at least an hour. Alright, let's go. This is the one. Or the one we already did is the one. Perfect. Oh, I didn't quite hit him. I landed two. You know what? I want to try one more. That one was close. But I blew my engine. I must have landed on a bump because the back end kind of kicked back up when I landed. I want to try one more. Only there was a like button on Twitch. I know. So is the emote. So is the emote. And Boyer and his two flips. 
Eric Almarola's actually flipped before. I bet you guys didn't know that. Some of you probably did. crazy. I remember watching that and just freaking out. Everyone thought that Carl touched him, but then the replay showed he has got arrow loose and Carl never actually made contact. have this be the one. It's right around here. Oh, nope. Nope. Alright, so for the future viewers, let's go check out the vote. The vote. Eric Almarola. Alright, so once the live video is pro done processing and the regular comments show up down below, I will post two comments. One, the first one will be hey, uh, thumbs up this comment if you'd like me to edit the best attempt from this video, and then it'll be time stamped. And the second comment will be thumbs up this comment if you'd like me to do a part two live stream to try to get an even better attempt. After a day or so, I'll take the tally of those votes and I will make my decision. All right, Talladega 1993. Lightning McQueen, all those <laughs> Lightning McQueen ones. Uh, Jimmy Spencer, Talladega. Take a crash attempt one. Here we go. That Shane Hall flipped at a test session in Las Vegas. Did he? Did he? Alright, so one last reminder. Here's what we are going for. That... And then here is the closest we got. All right, so let me know your vote if you want me to edit that one or if you want me to do part two on live stream to see if I can get an even better attempt. Remember when Airborne, Stenhouse got Airborne 2009 Arca Race? I think it was 2008. And yes, I do remember that because I reenacted it. All right, so we're going to crank the opponents up, do a full backwards big one, then call it a day, call it a night, skedaddle. Maybe go watch Rusty or something. Maybe we'll raid Rusty. Let's raid Rusty with my whopping two viewers. Hornaday also flipped 97 at Watkins Glen in a practice session. Don't give away my future video stream, Cheese. <laughs> hey, two viewers is better than none. Two viewers is better than none. Everyone go over to Twitch right now. Let's get a decent Twitch audience building so then we can go raid Rusty. Rusty hasn't gone live yet. What? Pace cars 
I thought he said he was starting his stream at 9 Eastern. Drive through still streaming. Well, we'll raid drive through. We'll raid drive through. Who's then gonna raid Rusty? Because drive through still streaming. I'm assuming because Rusty hasn't started yet. Because drive through was gonna paint until Rusty started, and then he was gonna. And he was gonna hop over and and raid Rusty once Rusty started. All right, so we're gonna get the AI as they're coming out of the out of turn four. Four seconds later. Keep it under 3500 in second. Okay, you're clear of fit lane. Oh man. Jeez. I didn't think that was gonna be as big as it was, but holy crickets. No, I don't even know what that means. Uh, is that Mark that got through unscathed? Watch Mark. After all his torment in these backward big ones. Watch Mark's journey through this. <laughs> Ernie Irvin. The million tumbles. Man. Oh, jeez. Ricky Rudd. Showing no mercy. What a hit. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. Uh, yeah, I will post the vote comments shortly after the live video is done processing, so let me know. Thanks to all my very generous Patreon supporters, Adria Fitzy, Jay Barker, Drive Through, Kingster Cole, Goki, uh, Austin Rip, Pantalica, Alpha Diamond, and TangleWolf09. In addition to my YouTube members, which would be Kingster Cole, TangleWolf09, Alan Barkley, Dallas Huntershake, Jeff the Killer Fan 666, and Del Alpha Diamond. Jeez, can't talk. So yeah, let me know your vote uh, once the comments show up. Uh, down below, let me know your uh, vote and any suggestions you might have for future live streams. Let's go ahead and raid drive through before we forget, because I tried raiding when I was offline last time. All right, let's let's go. Let's go raid drive through. Let's go raid drive through. <laughs> Might need to postpone that race. Yeah, well, it's, it's... Every time we touch, Cody. <laughs> I had to turn that down quickly. Ooh, you love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, I wish he didn't have copyright. This man was literally like go. hanging out with us here. Went to stream. Now he's done. We're still here. So thank you so much. You made the shrimps dance. <laughs> Welcome on, copyrighted Cody. music. And Dude, I love it. Cody's using Twitch. He's raiding people. Uh, what were you doing today? You were doing a, you were doing a. Can I recreate? Right. What were you working on there? I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> Best notification. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the love and the clowns. <laughs> That's all you need. Uh, we are currently working on what the hell we're gonna do with either. This All right. or this or so we this. just raid a drive through with a huge whopping three viewers. So 
we got that accomplished. All right, we didn't forget to do our raid. One last replay of Jeff Bodine's hitting the Ernie Irvin. Bam! All right, that is it. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. I appreciate the support. Let me know any suggestions you have for future videos down below once the uh, once the comments show up. I hope to see you all for the next stream. Until then, I hope you all have a good rest of your night. Peace. Bye.